A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. Whilst on our drive down to the south of France this year, we took the route which led us over the Millai Viaduct. And wow, what a bridge this is! Although we didn't get out of the motorhome to film or take some photos of the spectacular views which show the scale of this incredible viaduct, we did take a little video from inside, crossing the viaduct and also the drive descending, which is also spectacular. The road winds a few miles back down and is not only a lovely drive, but pretty scenic too. I also have a little info and a few basic facts on the Millau Viaduct and its construction. The Builder Bridge to span the Tarn Valley was first discussed as early as 1987. Before this point in time, eager holidaymakers from Paris to Spain had to descend into the valley to get there. This plagued the infrastructure of the valley, namely the Route Nationale N9 that passes near the town of Millau. And why is Millau Viaduct so famous? As I've already mentioned, the viaduct's main claim to fame is its impressive height. This stands at 343 metres and is most famous for being one of the tallest bridges in the world. She's a cable-stayed concrete and steel construction viaduct motorway bridge that spans the Tarn Gorge Valley near the town of Millai in southern France. The viaduct formed part of the A75 to the A71 autoroute between Paris, Beziers and Montpellier in France. She cost somewhere in the region of 310 million euros to build and officially opened for business in 2004. The viaduct is widely considered a great technical and art architectural feat and has won various awards since its inauguration. The viaduct consumed 127,000 cubic metres of concrete, 19,000 tonnes of steel for reinforcing the concrete and a further 5,000 tonnes of pre-stressed steel for the cables and shrouds. The builders have claimed that the bridge should last for at least 120 years. Not only is this an impressive viaduct, I'm also impressed that the other half, aka Grumpy Taff, agreed to drive over it, as he's not a fan of crossing tall bridges and viaducts in the motorhome at all. Anyhow, he did, and here we are. I know man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can't find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky Sounds 
I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way 